thanks for bearing that guys that was a quite quite a long one so okay okay so okay this is seems like it's it's complaining about something h3 expected ah what's it saying down here let's see okay oh i've seen the problem <laughs> i did close this i did um remove it so yeah that's fine now so let's run refresh this in our browser and see what we have here oh forgot to remove the up in our paginate script let's say we remove this okay refresh we don't have a up now okay so basically guys the reason we're doing this pagination as you can see we have awesome post one up until 17 let's say we had 100 posts i am sh i don't know about you guys but i don't like scrolling down a page just to get to 100 posts i'd like to have links down here to be clicking on them that's easier for everyone makes everyone's life easier doesn't it okay so we'll be paginating this this list of posts so there'll be links here so depending on what how you set up your will will provide a functionality to let the user the owner of the blog or whatever the site is to set how many um, posts there will be on a single page so we'll go up and now and set up our pagination plugin so our plugin will allow us to have um, to s send options inside of there so basically how you start a jQuery plugin is you extend the jQuery FN um, function so this is uh, an object in the jQuery namespace so when you extend that you say dollar sign dot fn dot whatever the name of your plugin will be in our case we'll say custom paginate that will be the name of our function I'm sorry this shouldn't be here it should be inside of our custom paginate so the user will be able to pass in set of options that will overwrite whatever um, will happen inside of our our pagination plugin so that will be a f um, function sorry option actually sorry guys so we'll assign that to an anonymous function which will accept options so but it's always good to define um, default settings so we'll have a um, default equal to so for now we'll have just one option for the user to set let's say we want the user to set how many links they want on this page here let's say uh, sorry how many items on a single page or let's say on the first page or second page they want five items on one page so that means every page that you go to there will be like five of these posts one two three four five and on the second page there will be six seven eight nine ten and then so on so we'll go here we'll say um items per page that will be an option we'll give it a default of five so options here we'll use that to um, to override whatever our default is so whatever's passed in here needs to have this object set to it it needs to have items per page if it doesn't have an items per page um, attribute inside of it we'll use the default of five so down here we'll we'll create a new variable say settings settings equals to an empty object so that is where we'll store our settings that's where will the settings come from it will come from this object here called default which has been overridden by options so options whatever's passed in there will override default whatever um, we have in default and then we'll store the result in settings how you do that in jQuery is there is a method very useful guys really this if you remember this you you've come a long way in jQuery plugin development is the pinnacle of jQuery plugin development 
so it's a function called extend and what extend does is you pass it a first um, first variable where you want to store your results so we want to store whatever extend returns inside of settings but we want to take um, options and override default so we will pass in second as default I'll explain in a moment what's happening here let me just type it out so we'll have options okay so basically what happens here guys is options will override what's in default and then that will get stored that will also override what's inside of settings since settings is an empty object it will always be given the result of this overriding situation happening here so once again I'll say it whatever's in options will override what's in default and then whatever that will be that will be stored here temporarily and then whatever's in default will get will override whatever's in settings since settings is empty it will just have the value of these two overriding okay so here we go so now next what we need to do is we'll have to get the pagination container that is inside of our HTML here after a list of um, posts here we'll have another um, we'll have another div here call pagination container with a class of um, just remember guys depending on how you're setting up your um, plugin you can name this whatever you want or you can just advise your um, users to name it whatever they want as long as when you're calling your plugin you give it supply this class this is where your pagination will be stored inside of so we'll actually um, I'll just remove this and call it pagination just so we won't confuse ourselves okay so we'll say pagination container we will get that from we'll set a variable called pagination container and next we'll get item to paginate and what that is guys is whatever you are planning to paginate it has to have something to be something an attribute let's say a class or a unique um, let's say div which is an HTML element that you can identify it with for example in this whole HTML document the only way of getting to this po the only um, way of getting to this post only uniquely is to select them using the class of post if you say div you will be given this div this is a div so it's not unique so the only thing unique to this list of posts is the class of posts so that's what we want to select inside of our pagination script here so we'll create a variable to store that we haven't selected it yet but we will select it in a moment inside of um, the settings variable here so item items to paginate so after you've over gotten all the settings from options and then store them inside of settings variable here now we just want to um, um, select um, those items here in pagination container we want to select the pagination container and the items to paginate we want to select them so we will use uh, jQuery to do that selection so pagination container equal to jQuery we'll do um, settings dot um, settings dot pagination container pagination container okay that's fairly easy that will be a string so this pagination container inside of the settings object will be a, c a string containing something like this that is paginate so when you select that in JavaScript here it will give you this element here of paginate which is unique get it 
Okay. So now that we've got our pagination container, now let's